Yes, we are back in a day's time. It is quite rare that I do this <laughs> recently. I've been taking a lot of breaks from YouTube, a little bit unmotivated, if I'm honest. But we're back two videos in a row <laughs> and I'm going to be helping you guys fix all the common Fortnite issues, error codes, anything that is really affecting your performance massively, you know, crashing your game, all issues fixed in today's video. And I'm going to show you how to do it. This video is also universal, generational. You can show this to your kids and it will fix their issues. So let's get into it and subscribe and like if it helps. So getting the big one out of the way, it would just be fixing all general performance issues and optimizing your game. Because if you have a bad PC or even if you don't have a bad PC, a make or break could be the tiniest difference in performance. So, you know, someone could be bottlenecking your game and you don't even know about it. It could be memory related, CPU related, GPU related, and you just can't really figure that one out. Optimizing your game will essentially mitigate that issue and you'll also get better performance out of it. And this goes for people that even have decent performance right now and have no issues. You may as well. So not to toot my own horn, but I have a lot of videos on my channel that will help. I'll also be doing another video recommending other people the whole video would just be dedicated to recommending other people that are better than me at what I do and it will not be sponsored and I'll just be plugging like giving you guys the people that I get my knowledge from. That's where I learn my stuff. I'm going to just give you the source directly. But for now, you can check out the videos on my channel. Things like optimizing your game user settings, the best game user settings in that case, the best Fortnite settings. So in game video settings, the best NVIDIA control panel or AMD control panel settings and also just other general optimizations. Some of my most recent performance or FPS boost videos are very in depth. And I'm showing stuff that really hasn't been covered anywhere on YouTube, actually. So some of them actually are organic. But once you've done that, you've, you know, probably like most of you have already, you know, you've optimized your game. You've done this stuff. That's why you subscribed to me in the first place. That's how you found this video. Now it's time to update your graphics card. Yes, updating your graphics card is pretty much imperative. Like it's super crucial. If your graphics card is out of date, that can literally crash your game entirely. It just won't run. This isn't always the case, but our day drivers, this is something Epic Games have said. It said they may fail when telling a piece of hardware like a video card, so a graphics card, how to run a specific type of software, such as Fortnite. I'll include an article down below from Epic Games and also for everyone, including Intel users, Nvidia users, and AMD users, so GeForce and Radeon. I'll show you or I'll provide links to the most updated drivers for each manifest. You can just click on them links, get some info and insight if you need to, but it's very simple. You kind of just go in there. Let's say you have Intel, click on the Intel link that'll be down below and just click download. It's a very simple installer. It does it all for you and boom, it'll be done. Maybe you restart your PC afterwards, drive is updated. This cannot break anything either. It can only fix things. The second thing would be to disable background application. So every single background application, all you need to do is go into your Windows settings, go to startup, and there should be, there literally should be a tab called either startup applications or background applications. You can also do this in your task manager on your desktop. So this wouldn't work for Mac. Um, can Mac users play Fortnite? I actually don't even know if they can. But yeah, task manager, and there'll be a little tab there called startup apps or startup. And just disable anything you don't need. Need. Very, very simple. I did a whole video on optimizing your windows and literally just your whole PC. So I'll include that down below as well. That is probably the most important one out of all of them. And this will cover that plus so many more things that will improve your performance, not only in Fortnite, but on your whole system. And the third thing would be ensuring you have the correct system requirements for Fortnite. Now, I probably should have mentioned this at the start, but for some reason, Epic Games also tell you to do all the other things first. Because I think even if you have like already bad specs and you just about can run, and it may like every now and then slip up, you can probably fix that and salvage uh, what you can. But the bare minimum system requirements include an Intel HD 4000 or an AMD Radeon Vega 8. So you can literally just search up your graphics card. And if it's anything older than this, it ain't gonna work. Your processor needs to be in at least an i3 and you need to have at least eight gigabytes of RAM. Also using any Windows version lower than Windows 10, older than Windows 10. I choose Windows 11 to make that clear. It won't work, it will not run. So yeah, don't bubble. I'll include again a link down below to this Epic Games article uh, that they posted regarding system requirements, which also include like recommended system requirements, um, which to be honest, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I wouldn't trust it. You're going to get bad frames. Uh, minimum system requirements, which I just went over and also Epic quality preset specifications. So if you want to get the best of the best, it'll recommend some of the best of the best. Now, assuming you have done all of that, the only thing left to do is to ensure your game user config. So this is like the internal files of 
Fortnite are all good and ready to go. And actually, on that uh, note, I think one thing you should do before is obviously ensure your game is optimized. We already went over that. But again, if you want to watch those videos or follow any of my advice, you probably have already done this. But to just kind of reiterate it, go into your Epic Games launcher, go to, you'll find your Fortnite. There'll be three dots. Click options and ensure your Fortnite installation options are correct. So this is all you need unless you actually play Save the World. And this will put you onto performance mode just to make that clear, which you really need if you're watching this video. So don't even try and use like DX11 or DX12. But only once that is done, you can then optimize your game config as I briefly mentioned. And I mean, I'm not going to show that in this video, literally my last video shown that. So go and watch that. Go and watch anyone's video. It doesn't have to be mine. This is an employee to get more views. It doesn't have to be mine. Go and watch anyone's game user settings optimization video. I do think mine is the best. And yeah, you will improve that. Make sure that's good. It's part of optimization. That should have been included in the first step. If all else fails, go back into your Epic Games Launcher. You can see on the screen here. Click the three dots. Press manage. It used to just show there, but go to manage. And click verify files. Now, this will reset your game user config. But if you're having issues beyond that, honestly, it's probably what you need to do. You can then maybe follow another video and not copy the files and only change starting things. And kind of, uh, you know, kind of try and identify the issue there. But if you do this, and you have to verify your files, this is your last resort, and you still have issues beyond this, leave a comment down below. I'm going to help you guys. I'm pretty sure I have a fix for everything here. Honestly, if this video didn't help, you're kind of far gone. You might want to upgrade your system, but I will try my best to get back to every comment. Maybe there's like a more specific nuanced issue um, that you have. For example, in my Discord server, I've already covered how to fix having no game audio, uh, getting this error code required shade is missing. I've also issues with your performance mode or sorry, your rendering mode being stuck. And with that all being said, that covers it. I I think I was going to go somewhere with what I was saying. My mind com went completely blank, but I've covered everything. This is everything. This is going to fix every issue. This video, everything I've said in this video, if you follow each step, it's going to fix every single issue. And if you still somehow have a more nuanced issue, which means, you know, the game will still launch at this point. And if it doesn't again, get a new PC. You need a new PC if the game doesn't launch at this point. But if it does launch and it's like, I don't know, a small issue with either performance or, or like an actual error code somewhere, leave a comment. I'll get to it within at least 24 hours. Mark my words.